Hello students, we have started the chapter microorganisms friend and foe. In the last video we have studied about food poisoning and today we will study about food preservation, the methods by which we can preserve the food. In chapter 1 we have learnt about methods to preserve food grains and in this chapter we will learn about how to preserve cooked food at homes. You must have noticed that bread or chapatis left or unused under moist condition gets attacked by the fungus. Hence, it spoils the food. The food spoiled gives bad smell and the color also changes. This happens due to the chemical reactions on food by microorganisms. Now, let us study about some common methods to preserve food in our homes from the attack of microorganism. The first method we will study is chemical method. Salts and edible oils are the common chemicals generally used to check the growth of microorganisms and these are also called as preservatives. Now your question might be coming what are preservatives? What is the meaning of preservatives? The chemical substances that are added to food food products, beverages, etc. and many other products to prevent decomposition by microbial growth or by undesirable chemical changes are called as preservatives. As we add salt or vinegar as preservatives to pickles to prevent the attack of microbes, sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite are common preservatives which are used in the jams and squashes to check the spoilage of food. Second method preservation by common salt. It has been used to preserve meat and fish for ages for a long time. Meat and fish are covered by the dry salt to check the growth of bacteria. Salt is added also to preserve amla, raw mangoes, tamarind etc. Next preservation by sugar. Sugar is used to preserve jams, jellies and squashes. They reduce moisture content which inhibits the growth of bacteria. Next the method of preservation by oil and vinegar. As you can see the bottles those are filled with vinegar and some with oils. They are used to prevent spoilage of pickles because bacteria cannot live in such an environment. Vegetables, fruits, fish and meat are sometimes preserved by this method. Next method, heat and cold treatments. You must have observed that the milk at homes before stored, they are boiled to kill the microorganisms. Similarly, we keep our food in the refrigerators at low temperature to inhibit the growth of microbes. Do you know what the milk comes in packets does not get spoiled because those milks are pasteurized. Question might come what is the meaning of pasteurization? So let me tell you when the milk is heated to ab in about 70 degrees celsius for 7070 70 degrees celsius for 15 to 30 seconds and then suddenly chilled cooled that means and stored it is called as pasteurization it is a type of sterilization which is used to kill all the pathogenic microorganisms present in the food products the process of pasteurization was discovered by Louis Pasteur. He experimented on it and finally on his name it is the method is called as pasteurization. Next you can see in this picture the pasteurization process is given. Milk enters into a big um, you can say container here working condition is going on heating is being given when the enzymes go through heat treatment they are 
denatured and become unable to function that means they become non functioning the enzymes then they are chilled here the enzymes continues to the cooling treatment and still unable to function in this process because too high and too low in both the factors the enzymes are not doing the process helping the bacteria not to grow and finally the pasteurization process completes next we'll study the storage and packing nowadays dry fruits and even vegetables are sold in sealed air tight brackets to prevent from the microbes as you can see in the pictures now the final topic the end last topic of this chapter is nitrogen fixation the process in which soil bacteria converts nitrogen gas into ammonia is called as nitrogen fixation you have learnt about the bacterium rhizobium in the previous chapter and in class 6 and 7 also it helps in the nitrogen fixation by the leguminous plants legumes has a symbiotic relationship which helps in the nitrogen fixation and sometimes nitrogen get fixed through the action of lightning also but the amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere always remains the constant you have you may wonder how it is always constant let us see these are the some of the steps of nitrogen cycle first of all nitrogen fixation then nitrogen assimilation then ammonification nitrification and dentrification our atmosphere has 78% of nitrogen gas which is also an essential constituent of all living organism like the other elements but nitrogen cannot be taken directly by the plants and animals certain bacteria and blue green algae present in the soil fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into compounds of nitrogen the first step nitrogen fixation once the nitrogenous compounds are ready it can be utilized by plants from the soil through their roots in the soil it is assimilating assimilation is going on third the nitrogen is then synthesized for plants proteins and other compounds is taken by animals or other living beings they get the proteins and other nitrogenous compound that is ammonification after that when the plants and animals die bacteria and fungi present in the soil convert the nitrogenous waste into nitrogenous compound to be used by plants again that is nitrification is going on and some other bacteria convert this nitrogen genus compounds into the nitrogen gas gas and which is then again given back to the atmosphere that is gentrification you can see a cycle over here this is the process how nitrogen cycle is workable in the atmosphere nitrogen in the atmosphere first of all fixation is going on then nitrogen is nitrogen pool in the soil that means a big huge amount of nitrogen getting collected in the soil then gentrification is being done and again it is returning back to the atmosphere the second in, in the, whatever things are going on in in a, of the cycle you can see over there the plants are it, it, eaten up by the animals and the animals when they die are decomposed by the decomposers and this death decay what does it doing ammonification and this ammonification process because they are uh, put inside the soil only so it is making the nitrogen pool in the soil bringing a huge amount of nitrogen to the soil the next picture is clear in it is given in your ncert books also nitrogen cycle the atmospheric nitrogen two cycles are there first one nitrogen fixation by bacteria or blue green algae fixes atmospheric nitrogen these turns the into nitrogenous compounds and these nitrogenous compounds are mixing up in the soil then this bacteria turn the compounds of nitrogenous into the gases form and liberates into the atmosphere the other other cycle lightning fixes the nitrogen into the soil directly this nitrogenous soil some plants are growing over there those are being eaten up by the animals and when these animals organisms die this nitrogenous waste in the form of death or excretion again return back to the 
soil. So, in this way the complete nitrogen cycle process keeps on continuing. So, so this with, with this we end up the topic and it was the last topic. I will continue with the next class with a new chapter. Thank you.